Hello guys, my name is Vijay. I am working as Senior Solution Consultant in Episero. Today in this session, uh, let us discuss about um, how to create GitHub account and how to uh, create a repository with multiple branches, how to clone the repository to local and how to check in our code to uh, different branches. So this is what uh, we'll be seeing in this session. Uh, first, in order to create an account right in github.com so access github.com slash join and what you do you have to use your uh, you have to enter username email address and password and uh, you can uncheck this and you have to uh, do some you have to go under this verification and you can click on create account okay so once that is done right what hap uh, what will happen is that uh, uh, you can it will it will send uh, seven digit code or eight digit code to your email so you can enter that uh, here and once that is done right uh, you can skip this uh, uh, this part and uh, once that is done uh, uh, that means uh, you are able to log in successfully in your github account okay so I have written some small article on the same like create github repository and multiple branches so you can have a look at this I'll share the same in the description of this video so let me log into my uh, github account uh, this is my username and password sign in yeah so now uh, this is once you log in right this is how it looks like okay now what you can do is you can create a public repository or private repository it is up to you but if you create public repository right uh, uh, even though uh, I mean this will be visible all over the internet for example let me log into incog incognito window and uh, dot com slash so I have already created one repository and I made it as a public so that is why uh, without login itself right uh, you are able to see this and you are able to access this basically okay so if you create a public repository uh, anyone can access it over the internet okay so it's up to you uh, for POC you can create a public uh, repository as well or private repository it is up to you now let me create a uh, another public repository this is the public repository which I have shown you in the incognito window I'll create one more public repository uh, so first of all you have to name your repository uh, I'll simply name it as um, new okay so click on create a new repository so once this is done right uh, what you can do you can add readme and git ignore so let's add readme and commit new file uh, so yeah uh, you can also add a file create a new file and I'll simply do like dot git ignore and click on commit new file so uh, readme.md uh, you can write some description about uh, this particular mule application okay maybe you can write some information so that whoever comes uh, new new to your project right they can understand uh, something about this particular project okay and git ignore is something uh, maybe i mean while you push in the code right whatever the things that can be ignored or right uh, so you can mention them in the dot git ignore even i need to check more on this particular thing but this is what uh, i mean we will use in the real time as well right this has some significance for surely but even i, I need to know about this okay so now by default you, you could see main branch right 
now let's rename this we can even rename this so go to settings and go to branches so uh, click on this one so let me rename it to um, let's say test rename branch okay so click on this now you see uh, it is saying that uh, yeah you, you could see some information here okay got it so we have renamed main branch to test branch now let's create one more branch I'll name it as dev click on this hyperlink so with this we have created one more uh, new branch okay uh, with name dev so as you could see here uh, in test branch side right, we we have already uh, created two files one is dot git ignore the other is uh, uh, readme.md okay so because we are creating another branch uh, given that uh, test as a source so whatever uh, whatever the things that are there in the test branch are getting copied to dev branch so that is what uh, I mean these two files are reflected here right now let's create one more branch that is feature so click on so now this feature is uh, it, it generated from the dev branch right so total we have three branches here so yeah uh, this is how you can uh, sign up to github.com and create a repository and also uh, this is the way you can create a uh, multiple branches okay now uh, so in order to clone this uh, repository to local right click on this particular uh, green button that is code and click on click here so that this URL will be copied now what you do you can create a folder on uh, desktop something like uh, code um, code merge something like that anything any name okay and here right click on this uh, folder and click on git bash but if you are not having this git bash right you have to uh, get it from you can install it so git bash so click on this hyperlink and whatever is the OS right choose that OS so Windows and if it is a, if your system is 32 bit install this if not you can install this one so download it and just uh, go with the default settings you just have to click on next 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 that's it finally you will install it okay so how to verify if, if your um, if your system is having uh, git or not okay so you can you can type this command git hyphen hyphen version okay so if, if your system is not having a git right uh, it will give this result and if if, uh, if it is installed right then I will get uh, the version that is installed in your system okay so this way you can install git bash now i'm going to copy this copy this url and as i created a folder called code match right so right click in this folder click on git bash here okay now what you do git clone right click and cop paste it here so click on enter now you see it is saying cloning into the folder name cloning into uh yeah so it is creating a new folder with the repository name in our local uh, yeah and it is cloning you see here dot git and git ignore readme.md got created okay now what uh, what we have to do uh, so i was showing this application right in my previous uh, sessions as well so now let's try to push this code into uh, feature branch okay so for that right right click on this project show in system explorer now copy all but you can ignore these settings dot settings exchange hyphen docs target okay so you can ignore all all these three folders and copy the rest actually okay um, once this is done copy paste here replace so we are replacing the git ignore file that we have uh, that we pulled from the repository 
with, with the default git ignore whatever uh, that got created right automatically now you see it will have some content okay uh, while we have created dot git ignore right in the repository it's an empty file and even this read md readme dot md file will have some some text okay this is the text by default uh, okay yeah now uh, again click here now you have to go to oh not here sorry so close this uh, this is the folder right where we copied um, all the source folder dot class path everything into so right click here click on git bash here um, so because uh, the default branch is test right uh, if you see here the initial the default branch is test okay so when you do git clone right by default it will point to the default branch now what you have to do you have to switch to some other branch so git checkout uh, let's say feature okay switch to a new branch feature so clear now let's see see there is a difference between the local uh, i mean uh, when we pull the code uh, when we pull this uh, uh, code right uh, so initially it was empty right even feature branch is having nothing now in order to check the differences right you see uh, you can type git status and uh, I mean th these are the files or folders that we have to uh, check in or commit actually to the repository so for that right you can uh, type git add dot so what it will do it will add or it will uh, stage all these uh, changes okay to the local repository as of now now again what you can do git status once again so whatever are staged right it will uh, all of them will be shown in the in green color okay like this now clear mm. now what we have to do we have to commit our changes okay with a message so yeah, hyphen m is for message so uh, when you're committing uh, your changes right you have to put some comment so that uh, uh, once you push the code right it will reflect in the in the branch okay so what i will do I will say it as initial uh, code commit. Okay, hit enter. You see, uh, uh, I mean, these many files got created. Okay, in the local itself. Now, git push. So, once you push right, all these changes will be uh, pushed to the um, remote repositories feature branch. Okay, because we are in the feature branch okay git push now let's see what happens you see uh, it has uh, push our uh, changes okay now let's go here and refresh it see feature had re recent pushes uh, less than a minute ago okay so this is how we can uh, commit our code okay so i think uh, we are good for now yeah so just clear it um now what we can do you can you can create a pull request so basically in real time also we'll have a feature branch you can create multiple feature branches for example say if multiple developers are working on the same module or on the sim on uh, similar uh, what do you say uh, tasks for example so what they will do uh, i mean the architect or the team lead will uh, distribute uh, their tasks and uh, each and every developer will create uh, their own feature branches and finally they will match the code in the dev branch okay so in order to match the code right you can create a pull request so let me create a pull request uh, so you see we have to see what is the base it is feature okay so we are actually pushing uh, our code from feature to uh, dev okay uh, base is feature and compare to dev um, one second guys 
yes guys okay so feature and you could see this is the target okay so let me switch to dev uh, you see able to match these branches can be automatically matched so click on uh, pull request create pull request now I'll click on match pull request confirm match and close pull request okay so pull request successfully matched and closed okay in real time uh, you'll have other developers uh, I mean uh, you'll create a pull request and another developer or, or your team lead uh, will will accept that pull request basically and then only the code will be matched to the higher branches like dev or test or main okay now let's go to code uh, you see let's go to feature so we have this structure right we have uh, successfully completed a pull request so now we'll see the same changes in a dev environment as well or dev branch as well okay so i think that's it from my side so i'll i'll meet you uh, in the next session so i'll try to uh, discuss on the jenkins uh, setup and configuration as well and how to uh, automate uh, our deployments to different environments in cloud hub so that's it for the session thank you so much